بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم من السلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر بیک وتھ وسل بلوئنگ وی لکڈ ایٹ اے کیس وچ واز اے پبلک سیکٹر کیس اسٹڈی لاسٹ ٹائم اینڈ وی سو ہاؤ اے پرسن از وکٹمائزڈ ریٹیلیٹڈ ہیز ٹو انڈر ٹیک امینس پریشرز اینڈ پرابلمز اینڈ وکٹمائزڈ اینڈ ہاؤ دا گورنمنٹ افیشلز گیٹ ٹوگیدر ایز اے ہرڈ اینڈ دین ایز اے ہرڈ اٹیک دی وسل بلور اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو ڈیمیج دا وسل بلور ٹو سچ این ایکسٹینڈ دیٹ ہی شی Uh, the family and everyone uh, are sacrileged and have to um, go through immense uh, problems and sacrifice. But determination and willpower tends to overcome everyone. And no one can be a god. Uh, no one can be a pharaoh. And therefore, all pharaohs and all gods are vanquished with the blessings of Allah. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at another case study today. Now, when we are looking at this case study, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this case study is a case study of a multinational in Pakistan. Sometimes in Pakistan, we think that multinationals have the best environment, but that is not the case. Um, the public sector, the social sector, uh, and the uh, private sector have their own vested interests. And it is very unfortunate that Pakistan is a land where there are many laws, but there is no rule of the law. There is a rule of the law, OFF. We have many laws, but they are not implemented. Laws are for the betterment of the people at large. But in Pakistan, we have laws which are for the benefit of the elite few, of the special child, of the children born with golden spoons. And that is one reason why there is a lack of corporate governance. There is a lack of legal implementation. It is extremely important that as a nation we overcome this scourge and move towards a rule of law nation where laws are applied across the board equally for everyone. Just look at what is happening nowadays in the Noor Mukaddam case. That is another issue where the elite are paying and through that they are messing up a clear cut case. So this also happens in issues like corporate governance, where things are clear, but the elite, the vested interest, they get together and make it shady, make it tainted, and indulge in herd-based victimization, retaliation, and deprive the individual of his or her sanity or well-being. And this is extremely unforgivable. And this must change. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be looking at a case of a victimization of a physically challenged employee in a multinational organization. Now, this physically challenged employee basically is a wheelchair born employee and he had this great dream of working in a multinational organization and making a huge positive impact so that he could emerge as a role model for other physically challenged people in Pakistan and abroad so that they could look at him as an inspiration and know that they can also climb the ladder of success. So this gentleman basically was an extra hard working individual. He would undergo, despite his challenges, he would undergo 15-16 hours of work. He would help others. He would read a lot. He would train a lot. And he would give 200% to his job. But when you start giving 200% to your job, and you start getting noticed, then many a times your direct superiors Due to, their, due to their policies, due to their shortcomings, due to their lethargy and complacency, and due to their messed up minds, they start feeling insecure. So his direct bosses started feeling insecure. And then they got around and they unfolded a plan to discredit him and therefore they would give him more and more work even though he was physically challenged. 
they would give him work which a 100% normal person could not do and they would give him work they would give him so much work that he would get sores he would get migraine headaches he would suffer a lot but even in all the pain and all the stress and all the distress he was determined not to fall down because he wanted to set an example of how physically challenged people can also excel so on this side he was being pressurized to do work a lot of unnecessary work a lot of inappropriate work he had to go through a lot of verbal condemnation unwanted unwarranted he had to go through this workplace harassment which was taking place against him every day and when they realized after many months of doing all of that that their antics were not bearing fruit then they started isolating him and pushing him to such a brink and humiliating him publicly that with all of his resolve and all of his determination he got so fed up that one day in this distress in this immense pressure under this huge headache this whole boulder being born on his shoulder and his head he just wrote his resignation but before he submitted his resignation he tried to contact his country head he tried to contact his his supra superiors no one would listen which we talked about earlier voicelessness the multinational head policies the multinational head rules the multinational head regulations the multinational head posters the multinational head ethics manager the multinational had many multiple different type of human resource officers and managers and directors the multinational had beautiful reports had beautiful colorful posters would conduct day long workshops but they would not walk their talk it was all baloney it was all lies in actuality they were the elite and the elite wanted to subjugate others so he tried to contact everyone no one would respond and therefore out of frustration he gave his resignation when he gave his resignation the country head the next day finally gave him an interview and in the long discussion the country said had said don't resign withdraw your resignation on my advice stay in the organization i will take care of you we will take care of you and we will resolve your grievances and also respond to the whistle blowing that you have done and we will do effective measures he was very happy because the top man basically gave him his soul so he thought that there is hope in this multinational organization so he came back with the spirit and withdrew immediately his resignation and started engaging with the hr now meeting upon meeting no minutes all sweet talk but nothing being done and then one day just last december he was given this notice that tomorrow is your last day and therefore please wind up all the matters he was shocked on one side they were talking with him discussing things with him reassuring him telling them how they would bring about changes make the environment better how everyone would walk their talk how they would ethically move forward how they would respond to his whistle blowing and the next day when he comes to the organization the security stops him and says that he cannot come he tries he sends whatsapps he sends emails he sends phone calls 
he tries to meet them. But so many weeks have passed, ladies and gentlemen. He is being victimized. He is being played mentally. He is suffering, his family is suffering. While the elite multinational is playing its games. It's games of retaliation, victimization. It's games of <clears throat> unethical practices. It's games of harassment. It's games of setting an example so that others do not follow him. That is whistleblowing. Thank you so much.